we have been having continuous reports of Man of Steel's canceled. Henry Cavill's done at DC. Oh, we're not. We're losing Henry Cavill. Everything's over. Well, I've never really taken that to heart because I don't see anywhere where they're saying Man of Steel 2 is canceled. It might not be called Man of Steel 2. It might be called something different. But from all accounts, Superman and Henry Cavill are still going to be at DC. Remember, Henry came out after Black Adam and said the future is filled with hope. He is going to be actively working alongside the next Superman movie. He is working with James Gunn to do the next Superman movie. James Gunn might not be the director. It might not be called Man of Steel 2. But he is still set to be Superman. And all these claims of he's over, he's over makes no sense. James Gunn promises Superman is a huge priority for DC. When asked by fans about the Man of Steel DC boss, James Gunn insists Superman remains a huge priority for the recently rebranded studio. Yes, for crying out loud, yes, I've been saying this over and over and over again. Zasloff wants to do a Trinity story. In that, before they can get to that point, he has also talked a lot about how Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman are their keys, are their holy kings for the show. It is their holy trinity. It is DC's holy trinity. They need to be healthy. They need to be respected. They need to be together. They also need to be strong. These are your heavy hitters. Superman, embodiment of hope. Batman, your dark knight. Wonder Woman, strong, powerful lady. Oh, crap. Strong, powerful lady. It is a fantastic thing. And no accounts have ever said, from no accounts that I've seen, from James Gunn's mouth, Peter Saffron, or David Zasloff have said, Henry's out. It's always just been speculation, and people are just jumping the gun. It's Snyder fans, really, that are jumping the gun because they think Henry's gone. From all accounts, it looks like Henry is staying. Heck, I even got a comment the, uh, comment the other day on a video I made of J James? 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 No. That blonde lady that has a weird heart on for, oh, what's his name? John Cena. Yeah, that lady. Yeah, she came out in, a while back and said, no, Henry's not back as Superman. Henry's not back as Superman. James Gunn pushed back and everything. I made a video on all that. I had a comment saying, well, this age poorly. How? There's no accounts that Henry Cavill isn't Superman anymore. Nobody's been saying that. Except for weirdos who want Snyder back. Anyways, let's get into the story. DC Studios head James Gunn assured Superman fans that the Man of Steel is still a key figure for the DCU going forward. Despite reports of several cancellations and the rumored axing of various projects involving Henry Cavill. They canceled Wonder Woman 3 because either Patty Jenkins didn't want to do it, James Gunn didn't want to do it, something was going on there. Probably never going to know the truth. Something went down. They canceled Batman Beyond, rightfully so. Remember, that was being wrote by the girl that did Birds of Prey. And we don't know what else is coming. There has been no reports of canceling Z J Henry Cavill. There's been no reports of canceling Ben Affleck, Jason Momoa, or Gal Gadot. Nobody's been canceled. Heck, Gal Gadot came in and said, can't wait to be more Wonder Woman. Can't wait to do more Wonder Woman. Henry Cavill did a whole press tour where he's like, yeah, I'm back at Batman as Superman. The only questionable one really is Ben Affleck, but we don't know. On social media, Gunn responded to fans expressing concern for the future of Superman in the DCU. Gunn instead insisted, not instead, insisted Superman remains a major priority. Contrary to recent reports, when asked about rumors sparked by the den of nerds suggesting Gunn doesn't like an actor like the actor Henry Cavill, the DC studio CEO had one simple res reply. False. You don't get Henry Cavill back in the Superman suit. You don't do that uh, 
John Williams mu music. You don't do that five second scene for no reason. That five second scene was super important. That five second scene is what Zasloff wanted. That five second scene is to help set up and give you a hint at what is coming in the future. It might not be Dwayne Johnson versus Superman. That might not be what we get. But what it was supposed to do is show you Henry's back. Henry is Superman. Superman's important. That is one of their key driving forces. Superman should always be the leader of the DC universe. Then Batman. I'm more of a Batman dude, but Superman is super important to any future DC project. This J.J. R. Abrahams, J.J. Jar Jar, whatever the heck, with Kanahisi, Kanahisi Totes? Or Kana, yeah, Kanahisi Totes, the, that Superman, yeah, that's reported to be silently going bye-bye. Because he's not doing it. They want Henry Cavill Superman. James Gunn cares about the fans, knows that the fans want Henry Cavill, and Henry Cavill wants to be Superman. That is an important outtake on all this. These rumors flying around that he's gone! Fire James Gunn! Snyder! Snyder's more important! It's false. Guys, you're jumping the gun. All we have is Wonder Woman's gone. That crappy Batman Beyond script's gone. We're moving forward. Well, Patty Jenkins is gone, more or less. Not Wonder Gal Gadot. They, they, they link us to the the tweets. Superman fans are furious about Man of Steel. Oh, wait, no, that's a related article. From uh, this dude, uh, Dr. Dark Archer. Hey, James, please tell us if we're, we are going to see Superman. We've been starved of the greatest comic book character on the big screen for ages. Gunn responds, yes, of course. Superman is a huge priority, if not the biggest priority. I don't know if he's the biggest priority, but he needs to be. He really does need to be their biggest priority. You need a healthy Superman. You need a healthy Superman, a healthy Batman, a singular Batman, and a healthy Wonder Woman to pioneer this future. You can't skimp on any of that. Then you build onto it. Those three need to be your core at the end. You then get this dude, uh, at Swaggy B, at James Gunn. Care to debunk this one? And I'm willing to bet it's from the Den of Nerds. Sure. False. Of course James Gunn loves Henry. Everybody loves Henry. James Gunn might be a little cranky, might be a little here or there might have had some uh, shaded jokes that are questionable but Henry Cavill's super important James Gunn has recognized that everybody has recognized that take note of a lot of the questions or a lot of the statements James Gunn Zasloff and Saffron has said Henry Cavill has said as well actors have said this is for the fans the fans are important they're prioritizing the fans and we'll get into a little bit of that towards the end even though it's old but it, it helps reinforce this i know i'm starting to sound like a james gunn stan and i'm sorry but people keep over jumping this and saying it's over it's over it's over when there's no real evidence of that the state of the dcu yeah it's not good right now but we're still getting out of the old regime we're still curious what's coming next Gunn and Peter Saffron, the head, the co-heads of DC's film, animation, and TV projects. Game projects as well. Remember that, CBR, you, you missed that part. Game projects as well have come under fire from fans ever since news came of the sub several DC, DCU sequels, including Man of Steel 2 and Wonder Woman 3 were scrapped. Where is this report that Man of Steel 2 is getting scrapped? Because even when I click on it, James Gunn addresses DCU cancellation, reports some is true, some is not true. We don't even know what the heck's going on. We don't know what's going on. Where where did canceling of Man of Steel 2 begin? Because I haven't seen it. This rumor came out of nowhere simply because Wonder Woman 3 got canceled and people wanted Snyder back. 
Now, it might not be called Man of Steel 2. It might be called something different. Because remember, they're doing a soft reboot through The Flash. More of a more on lines with a hard reboot, but still kind of soft. They're keeping the actors and things like that. Where has this report come from? Because I can't figure it out. All I can see is people got angry with Patty Jenkins leaving. Somebody said the end of the Snyderverse. And from there, it went on to be Man of Steel 2's canceled. What? What the heck? That doesn't make sense. Because I don't see the starting point. Gunn confirmed in a statement that some parts of these reports were true, while others weren't. Probably Wonder Woman being scrapped 100% true. Probably renaming it from Man of Steel 2 to something else. Maybe the Man of Hope. The Being of Hope. Something around that. Superman Hope. Hope the Superman, something like that. And I'm, those are some crappy names that I just did, but you need that healthy Superman. He wants Superman. James Gunn wants the fans to get what they want. Though he did not deliver, deliver, uh, deliver, deliver into specific, delve into specifics. According to Gunn, he and Saffron knew they were entering a fractious environment yeah it's been chaotic they came in to fix it and they're still haven't presented anything that's still not this week maybe next week maybe next year is when they present it it's supposed to be coming out soon we're gonna start getting glimpses of what they're planning we've seen gun show images saying hey we might go here hey we might do kingdom come we might do all this stuff Mr. F Mr. Terrific, a healthy Justice League of America, well, Justice Society of America, healthy things like that, doing it right, not this dark, brooding, disastrous thing that kind of leaves you sad inside, something hopeful and joyful, dark for Batman, hopeful and joyful for Superman, fun action for Wonder Woman along with a hopeful side. Excuse me. He and Saffron knew they were a fractious environment. He also conceded that not everyone will be happy. Of course, you're never going to make everybody happy. That's fine. Just do it to the best of your ability. Give us basically hopeful Superman, dark brooding Batman that doesn't kill, and Wonder Woman and very attractive doing her properly as well. People will come in the thousands, in the millions. You could start getting billion dollar movies overnight. With the future direction of the DCU and its characters. The potential axing of the Man of Steel sequel. Potential axing. We still don't know what the heck's going on. May not be the only cancellation involving Cavill's Superman. What? 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 Because my reports is Cavill's going to be in a whole lot more than we thought. DC Studios has reportedly considered scrapping the actor's cameo in the 2023 superhero film The Flash. Well, that comes from the old regime, not the new regime. From all reports, Henry Cavill's in it. They want him in it. It's going to be Henry Cavill and the other lady. They changed the script. They haven't scrapped him. They've changed it. Because what it was supposed to be last time was Cavill dies. And the new lady comes in and takes over the mantle. Now it's going to be both of them leading the charge. They're both going to be healthy in this. It's not going to be one of them dying. They're both going to be in it. Studios executives mulling the inclusion of Cavill in the movie have been considering the potential backlash of his cameo given the alleged, alleged termination, alleged termination, no actual reports, of Man of Steel 2 and the implication that a cameo would make, a, would make about the hero's future. We don't know if it's even canceled. And like I've been saying over and over again, you don't bring Henry Cavill, you don't get the John Williams movie music, and you don't do that all that work for just five seconds. Dwayne Johnson can have some pull. Dwayne Johnson can do a lot. But a studio doesn't put that much work into it. Give Henry Cavill that whoop. Put him on a press tour where he's talking about a whole lot more. For nothing. Something's in the works that we don't know about. Let's not jump the gun just yet.
Okay, let's not jump the James Gunn just yet. First time was an accident, second time was on purpose. <clears throat> In addition to the cancellation speculation, yeah, it's speculation, we don't know. So hold your horses a little bit. Other reports suggest DC weren't happy with Black Adam star Dwayne Johnson hyping up the return of Cavill as Superman. Well, it was a mixed thing. From all reports, it was an open secret, but they were still striking people who were talking about it. So it was a mixture. They wanted Dwayne to talk about it. They wanted people to go there. That was their marketing ploy, was that five-second cameo that ended up getting leaked that everybody saw. I saw the leak, but the movie didn't do good. But J they knew if you hyped up Henry Moore, if you did more with Henry, you probably would have had a billion-dollar movie there. You couldn't because there's other aspects of that movie were just off. It was a fun popcorn film, but it wasn't it wasn't good. Black Adam isn't an anti-hero. He's more of a villain. You, you got to remember that. The, people are just speculating now, though. It feels more like speculation and rumor that they don't like that Cavill's back. That was the old regime that didn't want him back. That was the old people that didn't want him back. People want Henry Cavill as Superman. Henry wants to be Superman. Everybody understands that. And Henry's the perfect casting for Superman. Let him be Superman. And people quit with the freakouts. We don't know if half these things are true. And it kind of sounds over the top. Like they did all this money. They did all this work. All this promotion. because For nothing. That's stupid. And if they did do that. DC's one of the stupidest companies out there. Zaslav makes no sense at that point. I don't believe that. Zaslav has do it, been doing everything right thus far. Granted, CNN's still in charge. So, John Johnson. Oh, yeah, Dwayne Johnson. Johnson has apparently upset some of the studio executives for promoting the, a potential confrontation between Black Adam and Superman. You showed that at the end of your scene. That it was going to happen. So how can they be upset when it's in the movie? down the line or speaking about his role in securing Cavill's Superman comeback. But that's true. He was fighting with the old regime over and over again. And then he started fighting with the new guy. Well, talking with the new guys and they said, yes, absolutely. So why are you so mad? Oh, maybe there's some executives still there that don't like this change. Maybe get rid of them, Zasloff. Whether the confrontation will ever happen remains to be seen, considering Black Adam may not get a sequel. May not, we may or may not, we don't know. Let's wait to see what is presented by James Gunn and Saffron. And I'm putting a little bit more faith in James Gunn and Saffron right now. I get it, I'm sounding like a stan. I'm sounding like, oh, you know, they, they could do no wrong. No, I just haven't seen anything to prove that they can't do anything. Because we haven't seen anything. We've only been seeing cancellations of past regime projects. There's some projects that were already filmed. They need money. They need to put it out and just try to get something. That's why The Flash. That's why Black Adam. That's why Aquaman. That's why Shazam are still moving forward. Because they couldn't cancel them. They took a massive hit for the Black for Batgirl. They can't constantly take that over and over again. They have to get at least something. That's why they've been doing reshoots, reworks, and re-edits as best as possible. To try to give you at least something that you think is decent. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to be decent enough to make some something. Try to make some money. Even if it's a dollar, that's what they want right now. Superman fans have been voicing their displeasure in earnest about the changes at DC Studios. No, 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 no. Snyder fans have. Snyder bros have. The Snyderverse people have been voicing their displeasure because they want Snyder back. They can't accept the sad reality that the Snyderverse is all over. And they're... For lack of a better explanation, they're such losers, they can't see that they won. They, they can't realize they got this major win. They pushed and pushed and pushed so long, so hard, and fought 
to get the Snyder Cut. And when they finally got it, they couldn't accept that they won and they wanted more. It's like, guys, it's over. I'm sorry. Snyder's not coming back. Snyder has said he's done. And I'm sorry he's gone. I get it. You guys liked it. I have my problems with the Snyderverse. There's a lot of problems. I like the Snyder Cut. I think it was a little bit too long, but I liked it. I thought it worked. And yeah, I'm sad to see it go too. Because Snyder was setting up things that I really liked. I got to see an awesome dark side. And that's what I really wanted. I like my villains being villainous and looking proper. But Snyder's gone. And you got to accept that. You can't keep grasping at something that's gone. It's not healthy. You got to move on. Pleasure with DC Studios. Even calling for Zack Snyder to be Put in charge of Warner Bros. Snyder, who directed the original Man of Steel movie, as well as Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Remember, Man of Steel for Snyder Bros are fine. For me, who doesn't want a destructive force of nature Superman, I didn't like it. Superman tries to save as many people as possible, is very hopeful, tries to do everything, and it, it was so dark I didn't like it. Batman v Superman, when your director's cut is better than your main cut and actually makes your movie good because your main cut is so bad, you have problems. Your mo your director's cuts are the problems here. And it, it that's wrong. Batman v Superman was crappy. Martha! Do I have to go back to that over and over again? Yes. Has been linked to with DCU returning return following Gunn's installment as DC Studios had given their history together. Let me reread that. Snyder, who directed the Madonna Justice, has been linked with DCU returning following Gunn's installment as DC Studios had given their history together. But I'm sorry. He's gone. He's working on other stuff. He has a Netflix deal. He's making some space star wars-esque show he's making return of the dead over and over and over again let him do his thing let james gunn and peter Safran make their bible let us see what they present to us let us see at least one movie and then we start judging it from there we're gonna have to give some time to this and i get it i'm sounding like a stan i'm sounding like a supporter but if they give us stuff that's crap, if everything starts pointing to it being shite, yeah, go hog wild at them. I don't care. I'm just saying, hold your horses. Let's see what comes. Because by all accounts, seriously, by all accounts, come down here. And I get this. This is from November 12th. James Gunn is turning, the fan, turning to the fans for DC Universe film ideas. We know that. He's been trying to get fans hyped up. He's been leaking stuff. Little images here or there saying, hey, this might be coming. Hey, do you want to see this? Hey, Lobo. Hey, Mr. Terrific. Hey, Superman. They're trying to hype you up and say, hey, we're working on something. We hope you like it. We hope fans like it. We hope people like it because we're really trying here. Hollywood doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt. Nine times out of ten. But I'm not blackpilled enough to say. I don't want to see it. I want to see what they give us first. I want them to present it to me. And then let me cast my judgment there. Because that's all I can do. But let me get your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you really think. They're going to get rid of Henry Cavill. I don't see it. But do you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, share it out with all your friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.